start. Is it ready? Okay. Some of the guys um, asked a question about how to simplify uh, a summation. And the answer to the question is basically there are some identities, some proofs that you can look up online that show how to reduce a sum. But for the question that was asked, the important one is, what is the sum from i equals m to n of i? And you can simplify this to be the quantity n plus 1 minus m times n plus m divided by 2. When you use that, the sum becomes simple. Now let me show you what the sum actually was. The sum was um, the sum from i equals 1 to n over 2. You sum that, and then you sum that of the sum of uh, from j equals i to n minus i. And then you sum uh, from k equals 1 to j of one, one computer operation. Now, <clears throat> of course, this one's easy because the sum from 1 to anything of 1 is just whatever anything is. So we can reduce this sum to be the sum from i equals 1 to n over 2 of the sum of j to i, so j, j equals i to n minus i, of this whole thing is just j. So that's not too bad. Now the tricky part comes when we, when we apply this identity up here and we reduce this part of it. We're going to reduce that part of the equation. So let's take a look what we have here now. That's going to equal the sum from i equals 1 to n over 2 of, and we're going to basically plop these op, uh, 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 values into this identity here. So, write this in green here. It's going to be all of this over 2. It's going to be, here's n plus 1 minus m, but actually in this case n is uh, n minus i. So it's going to be n minus i plus 1 minus, and in this case, um, the m value here is i, so minus i times the quantity n minus 1, sorry, n minus i, which is n here, plus i. You're going to have to um, work that out on paper to prove that to yourself. But that's what it boils down to. Now when we reduce this, all these n's and i's and multiply them all out, you can basically multiply all these things times each other, like n times n is going to be n squared, um, and so on and so forth. The reduction is going to be like this. I worked it out on paper. I'm just going to take this one half out here. The whole thing reduces down to n squared plus n minus 2in. If you, if you get, break out a piece of paper and, and multiply this out, you'll see this is the case. Now, it becomes a little bit of a simpler problem. You can, since, since the summation can be, uh, it's, can be broken up with the equation, you can actually put this like this. This first term is going to be n squared over 2. I'm not going to write out all, all that part of it. This one's going to be plus the sum of, um, yeah, n over 2. See, n over 2. And then minus the sum of 
2 i n over 2, which is just i n. Now, this is the sum from i equals 1 to n over 2. So what's the sum from, n, from i equals 1 to n over 2 of any constant value, which this is a constant value. It's just this top value times that. So it's going to be n cubed over 4. And I remember somebody saying in class, I think it was, that it was n cubed over 4 was the dominant term. So <clears throat> n cubed over 4, this one's n squared over 4, and this one is uh, i n squared over 2. But we know from, <clears throat> we know from uh, the big O notation that we studied earlier that the, oh, the dominant factor at high values of n is going to end up being the important factor. So the, the answer you're kind of looking for is this um, n cubed over 4, but this is the whole, the whole answer. So hopefully that's helpful, guys. That's all.